We are studying the equilibrium of the iron plus 3 ion and the thiocyanate ion with the complex iron thiocyanate ion. In order to form the complex ion, we start with 20 milliliters of distilled water and add 20 drops of 0.1 molar iron nitrate along with 20 drops of 0.1 molar potassium thiocyanate. The iron and the thiocyanate react to form the complex iron thiocyanate ion, which is bright red-orange in color. We then aliquoted out 3 milliliter samples of this complex ion solution into, test, into three test tubes. To the first test tube, we added 20 drops of 0.1 molar iron nitrate. This resulted in a color change from red-orange to a deep red. To the second test tube, we added 20 drops of 0.1 molar potassium thiocyanate. This also resulted in a color change from red-orange to deep red. To the third test tube, we added 20 drops of distilled water. We used this tube as a reference tube to compare the color changes of tubes 1 and 2. In the pictures shown previously, the tube on the left serves as this reference tube. In both cases, a color change from red-orange to dark red occurred. In our first test tube, when we added more iron ions, we increased the amount of reactants. By Le Chatelier's principle, the reaction moved forward to use up the new reactants. The same thing happened for thiocyanate because it is also a reactant. By adding the water, we lower the concentrations of other reactants. The reactions will then shift backwards in order to maintain the original concentration. For our follow-up, we added a base to the solution at equilibrium. When we add 6 molar NaOH, it reacts with the iron ions and forms a precipitate. The reduction of iron causes the reaction to shift backwards, and as more iron is formed, more is taken away, until all the iron thiocyanate is taken up and we are left with a yellow liquid and orange precipitate. However, when looking back on some of our tests, some interesting questions had popped up. For example, when we performed the math for the changes in the equilibrium in our test tubes, we noticed that we had the same Q as long as we had the same increase in concentration of each reactant. Since we added equal volumes of equal molar solutions, we would expect the two Qs to be the same, and therefore the same color after re-establishing equilibrium. The colors, however, were different because of an entirely different factor. Iron ions are yellow, so when we added more yellow to the iron solution, along with the new addition of red after the equilibrium, the yellow was able to line up the red. However, when we added the thiocyanate, uh, the clear liquid used up the iron solution when making more red, and we reduced the yellow and made more red, making a deeper red color. Another thing was the precipitant. Why was the liquid still yellow in our after lab? Shouldn't all of the iron have precipitated? The answer was most likely yes. We just had no time to film it for long, but if we left it out for another few minutes, I am pretty sure that there would be no yellow or red anymore, just a clear liquid and an orange precipitant.